fight coming up next. It is a welterweight showdown between Colby Covington and Tony Ferguson. Respect to Justin Gaethje and anyone else you want to throw in the mix. This is about as watchable a fighter as we have on the UFC roster, the former interim lightweight champion, El Kukui, Tony Ferguson. Tony Ferguson is just nasty from the elbows that he lands on the feet to on the back, the submission ability that he possesses. One of the most diverse strikers in the UFC. And with a college wrestling background, every time you step foot in the octagon with Ferguson, you know that you have your hands and there's some fighters who just don't like training, right? Frank Mir would always say, I don't like to train. <laughs> Tony Ferguson loves to train. He'll go five or six hours hard. That's crazy. And from a work ethic standpoint, few guys are going to be able to match that. <laughs> Colby Covington maintained status as one of the best welterweights in the world. He is absolutely one of the best welterweights in the world. And a lot of times people mistake the talk and the persona for Colby not being able to be a fighter. Colby Covington is a fantastic fighter, and he will get in your face from the moment the official, or the moment the referee says fight, and the pace, and the cardio, and the work rate that he will push on his opponents is enough to break guys. Guys that are traditionally known as phenomenal cardio fighters like Rafael Dos Anjos melt under Kobe Covington. He is a great fighter and a very, very hard worker. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. Ferguson is four years his senior. He will have a four-inch reach advantage. All right, now with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Jean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Walkerweight Division. It's who is the first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 26 wins, 6 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Orange County, California, Tony! Kukui Ferguson! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 17 wins, three losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Kobe Chaos Coming Time! You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. Well, it's always great to be back in this MMA hotbed as we get underway here at the Jeunesse Arena in Rio de Janeiro. All right, early round one, we'll see if he can use that jab and try to keep his opponent on the outside. Must go! Oh! What a... Oh! Huge right hand! He's done! He's done! Now goes in and secures the takedown. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters 
this young man is as good as any you've ever seen. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Close guard. Gets up again here, but hurting. Oh, you gotta watch him attacking submissions. He throws the legs up to try to get a triangle choke here. Oh, nice. And this might just be a matter of time. Right, side control now, DC. When you get side control in the fight, what are you looking for? When I get to the side control of the fight, and I believe this young man should do the same thing, it's secure first. Grab everything in tight. Make sure your elbows are in. Make sure you've got something locked in so your opponent doesn't just squirm away. Punch short punches, but try to make the opponent make a choice. Either he turns back into you, you take your front headlock, or he turns in the opposite direction, you throw your hook in, and you start looking to get a choke off. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Blocked. he gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Thirty seconds now to go in round one. Twenty seconds left. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Horn sounds for the end of round one. So there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. Round two underway. Another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder rounds. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Covington gets the takedown. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. Going for a submission. Now he falls back into the finishing position. Brilliant submission defense there. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. We go two minutes down here in the second round. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. I mean, how many can he take? Lands with the ground and pound here. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. So inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. 
Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Ferguson. He can truly do it all. against Tony Ferguson. Left hand punch in the clinch. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. All right, that's the end of round number two. level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risks. What a fantastic round. Ready, fight. Ready. Third round underway. Big call for punch man. Now he gets back to range. Oh, massive knee to the head. We'll see if he can follow up. Oh, beautiful level change. Oh! Oh, looks like he's countering here with maybe a Von Flu. He's got the side mount. And now all of a sudden his opponent's in trouble. May want to bail on that guillotine sooner rather than later. He got it. He got it, John. How about it? Gets the win by submission. Beautifully executed there on the board. Right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. So there he is, your winner by submission. That could hold up as one of the better subs of the year. Near perfect execution tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called the stop of this contest at 58 seconds of round number three. For the winner by submission, Colby Chaos Covington. All right, so there he is, all smiles, and rightfully so, after he gets the job done by submission tonight. You told me off the air before the fight that he was going to submit him, and that's exactly what happened. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. And his opponent is known to lay in the guard. He made him pay for it tonight. Got to 